three reasons why women are not embodying feminine leadership right now is the first one is a value. Feminine leadership has not been valued um, to date very well. And it's only been this week in the news that we've seen some articles talking about the value of feminine leadership and how uh, essential it's actually been in going through COVID with regard to being able to handle the situation, handle the people, um, and just kind of hold things together in a much more sort of comprehensive way. Um, and the second thing is that um, we don't really have that many role models that are female leaders. We do have female leaders, but feminine leaders, so who really do embody the feminine attributes and not just, you know, it, it, it's not just that feminine attributes are necessary. Feminine attributes need to be balanced with our masculine attributes so that we start to have really a um, better environment for looking out for other people and looking after other people and not just having a, an environment where the masculine energy is dominating and making people feel basically... Uh, bullied or um, overpowered or directed at or um, not not capable and not confident in their own work. Um, and so the third thing that I wanted to mention is we at this time also feel like there is no good reason to invest in feminine leadership and invest in learning about our feminine skills that we can bring to the table. Now, feminine leadership is not just in women, it's in men as well. So there is no restriction on, you know, evolving our feminine, our feminine aspects of leadership. And certainly at a time like the one we're going through this year, it is more important really to step into those feminine aspects of ourself and our leadership certainly when we're struggling with things like how do we be compassionate and look out for other people how do we keep you know the family together how do we keep all of the things running in our lives in different aspects where we've got work family home jobs extended family maybe even looking after other vulnerable people in our community and, and all sorts of volunteer services that we're doing so really, it supports us in being able to be leaders in helping others getting through situations where they're finding it more difficult and struggling. Now, I'm going to be talking about this on Thursday this week in two of the sessions that I'm running. I'm running a couple of one hour workshops, one 10 in the morning UK time and one 8.30 in the evening UK time. I really just invite you to click on the Eventbrite link and book yourself a seat so we can talk to you about your own individual and unique feminine leadership style and really start to empower you and how you can use that. Thanks for listening. <laughs>